Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel guru and today I'm gonna tell you a wonderful formula of Excel. It is called is text. Well, what does it do? Well, it actually tells you whether the contents of a cell are text or not. If there are text, it will say I'll give you a true, else it will give you a false. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you almost five functions and how um, I'm gonna tell you about five formulas and how to do a double V lookup. See, uh, let's do the is text function first. So we'll type this formula is equal to I S T E X T checks whether a value is text and returns true or false. Very logical. Bracket close and it gives you a false because this is obviously a number. Now what about dates, blanks, errors and alphabets? Okay, a false for a date, a false for a blank, very obvious. It will treat uh, blanks as non-text. This is an error. I made it by choice. It is also a false because this is not a text and by. Yes, this is a text, B-Y-E, by. This is a text. But what happened to this date? Why is it considering it as false? Because Excel considers dates to be numbers. And Excel stores them in the same way in numbers. See how? Just use this formula is equal to n, and type and just refer to the date, and press enter. See, this is how Excel has stored this day, 23rd September 1978, which happens to be my date of birth, and this number looks nowhere close to 23rd September 1978. So this was the is text function. Now I have taken an example. These are the roll numbers and these are the names corresponding to these roll numbers. Say this is Neil, the name of my son, Dia, the name of my daughter who is sitting next to me and smiling <laughs> and Karan, my brother, Charlie, a very good friend of mine and Superman, he flies in in all, almost all my videos. Now here I, here I would like to mention their marks and I would like to do that with a formula I would like these cells to be populated automatically using a single formula in a single stroke so five cells to be filled in one in one stroke and that too randomly see is equal to R A N D rand between is the formula it says bottom type the lowest score you would like to give somebody and type the highest score you would like to give somebody press uh, close the bracket and press control enter then it will populate the complete range that you have selected Say enter and here is your results. Let us see who has scored the highest marks. Well Dia happens to have scored the highest marks Well, you have to be careful with the rand between formula because whenever you enter something in the cell and Then it will change the values the rand between cell a formula would change the values say here it is by if I make it hello, see these would change. See B C over here, and I am pressing enter, and see this has changed now. Neil happens to be the highest scorer, 97 marks. So once you want to populate uh, certain cells with rand between formula, then it's better to do a control C, right click, paste special SV, enter so that these values become fixed so now they will not change now comes another beauty of this video uh, say I type in either the roll number or the name of the student over here then Excel should automatically pull up the marks no matter whether it, it is the roll number or the corresponding name over here now we will we will be using if formula in this to do this if is text and a double V lookup see how this happens say I have mentioned one over here now how would we do this I'll start it with the is equal to I F F bracket open is text T E X T value bracket close comma let me explain the formula till here I want Excel that if this cell is a text then do a V lookup from here do a VLOOKUP keeping this in mind from here 
till here comma 2 comma 0 because I want to pull up the marks in the second column which is I want to pull up the mark uh, the the uh, marks from the second column which is marks now comma now I'm telling Excel that if this is not a text uh, then what so over here this was if this was a text then pull up marks uh, from here till here now if this is not a text then pull up marks from here till here from B till D comma we look up this cell bracket sorry comma and select this range comma 3 comma 0 bracket open see if I mention 1 it has given the result 97 I, if I type in D over here D I Y A it will give 90 cool video yes well it it would uh, this Excel file that you're looking at in this video is available for free download on my website myelesson.org. You can go to that website and download this training file for free so that you can practice along or just keep it with you. Uh, so this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.